Okay guys, so I will just a quick video here to show you how to go about making the triangles uh, that you're asked to make for this activity. Uh, so we're going to use Geometer Sketchpad for this. So I've got a window with a new sketch open over here. And the first thing we're going to do is make a triangle that looks somewhat like the small triangle here on your activity sheet. So this ABC down here. So I'm on my Geometer sketch pool, Sketchpad, I'm going to uh, select the line tool here and I'm going to make a small triangle that looks a little bit like that one on the last activity. This one doesn't have to be exact. Then what it asks you to do is to highlight that entire triangle. So you click your select tool, you highlight the whole thing, and then you're going to tr dilate that triangle to make an exact copy that is three times the size. So first off I'm going to just double click on this point down here. Now what that does is it tells your geometer sketchpad that this is now the the pivot point for the bigger triangle that you're going to draw. If you select this one, then your triangle is going to shoot off to this direction. So we want it to pivot around, around this point. Okay, so I go up to transform and I want to dilate that triangle and I want it to be a fixed ratio of three over one. So now it's three times the size. And I hit dilate. So now I've got another triangle that is three times as big as this first one that I drew. Next what I want to do is I want to uh, label up these points. So this was A, B, C, D, E. And with all the points selected you go up to display, label points. We want it to start at A, we hit OK, and we have A, B, C, D, E. Let me just make sure that that's the same as, uh, as they're labeled on the activity sheet. So it's A, B, C, D, E. OK, we look good. OK. OK, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to measure some of the, some of the lengths of some of these lines. Um, before I do that, I just want to show you another kind of neat feature of Geometer Sketchpad is if you go over a label and you see this little hand, you can drag that label anywhere that makes sense. So anywhere that the label's kind of in the way, you can move it around. Um, okay, so if I want to measure the length of AB, then I select A and I select B, and I go to measure distance. And I get the length of AB is 6.28 centimeters. Now, if I want to measure the length of A to D, I select those two, and I go to measure their distance. And I'm going to compare those two side by side. Now, I'm going to do the same for BC. So I'll select BC, measure its distance, and I'll select DE, measure that distance. And I need to measure AC and last AE. Okay, so there I've got my smaller triangle and my bigger triangle and their distances. Um, something else you can do with Geometer Sketchpad is using the text tool over here, you can clean up your work by adding some titles. So I'm just going to select text and above this I'll put down small or uh, actually I'll, I'll rather than calling it small triangle I'll call it triangle ABC and above these I'll call this triangle uh, ADE. Okay so just in terms of writing your reports and submitting them this will really help to clean up some of your work. Okay, so next on the activity, uh, you guys are asked to calculate the distances, uh, or sorry, calculate the ratio of corresponding sides. So for example, the ratio between AD and AB. So here's how you can get Geometer Sketchpad to do that calculation for you. I'm gonna go back to Geometer Sketchpad. I wanna calculate the ratio between AD and AB and see if it actually is three times bigger. So on Geometer Sketchpad, I'm going to go up to Number and Calculate. And then here's my calculation box. I'm going to calculate AD and then divided by AB. 
And it gives me the answer right there, but if I hit OK, it'll also display it on my screen. Okay, so I'm also going to I'm also going to compare DE and BC. So I'll go to number, calculate DE divided by BC. And I'm going to compare AE and AC here. So number, calculate AE divided by AC. And we hit OK. OK, so all of those are now 3. So what it's saying here is if we compare AB, this length here, to AD, this longer length here, those are corresponding sides. And AD is 3 times as long as AB. Okay. Similarly, DE is a corresponding side to BC. And so DE is 3 times the size of BC. Okay, so if I want to label that, let's call it the uh, ratio of sides. Okay, so what's next? Now we've got our triangle, we've got all of our side lengths, we've got all of our ratios of sides, and then we have to measure the different angles. So I'll show you how to do uh, I'll show you how to do this for two corresponding angles, and then I'll uh, I'll leave you guys to do the rest. Um, on our diagram here, uh, corresponding angles would be angles that we expect to be the same, uh, based on the fact that they are um, and the same point of the two triangles. So for ABC, if I want to compare angle B to a similar angle on the larger triangle, well that would be angle D. So B and C are at the same point on their respective triangles, like B is at the top of this one and D is at the top of that one. Um, so those are the two angles that I want to compare as similar. So if I go, let's see here, A, B, C, and then I measure that angle, I get angle A, B, C here. If I want to compare that to the larger triangle, I go A, D, E, and now Geometer Sketchpad is going to measure this one for me. Go to measure that angle, and I get that it's the same, the same number of degrees. So what I can do actually is I can put those right up here on my sheet under the triangle ABC and triangle ADE. So you guys can measure the other corresponding angles like BCA and DEA, and uh, see if those work out to be the same as well. Okay, so the last thing that we want to do here is uh, take one of the points and move it around and see how that affects everything here. So I'm going to grab point D here and I'm just going to drag it around. So that's changing the shape of the triangle. Okay, And if you look, the length of AB, BC, AC, all these lengths are all changing because I'm changing the lengths of... I'm changing the lengths of the, of the lines as I drag this point around. Uh, the only ones that aren't changing are AC and uh, AE, but I can change those by dragging this point around. Okay, now what else you should notice is that the angle here, angle ABC and angle ADE, and assuming you guys did the other corresponding angles, those angles are changing as I drag this point around as well, but no matter where I put that point, those angles are always the same. So ABC and ADE are changing, but this angle is always the same as this angle, even if those two angles change together. Okay, now what's not changing? What's not changing is no matter what I do to the side lengths of those two similar triangles, the ratio of the sides is always 3. So watch how these don't change as I drag that point around. Okay, so this small triangle and this bigger triangle are similar triangles, which means that this bigger triangle is always going to be three times as the size of this smaller triangle, um, no matter how I change its shape. And so this ratio is always three, even though these numbers are changing. These numbers are always three times as big as these numbers, and the angles are always uh, corresponding.